Hello. <laughs> it's pouring down. Right, I put my tent up again yesterday, the hot tent, and I put the stove in it. We'll pop back out later today. It's absolutely hammering it down. I bought a new DJI Action 5 and the mic so I can now do it wirelessly. And so I don't have to worry about wires and stuff in the rain. I'm just hoping this is going to pick up okay. I did a little bit. I'll turn you around. It is banging down. We'll check that out later. I did come out this morning when it was a bit more blowy. You see the trees moving there. Oh, let's just clear that off the lens. Um, I'm going back in. <laughs> Ollie won't go for his walk because <laughs> of the rain. But I'll put the bit in that I came out earlier and then we'll go back later on and we'll have a sit in the tent and have a look at it. Bye for now. Have a look at it. Just been out all night in this pouring rain. How's it holding up? I know it's going to let water in from my stove jack because I cut it a little bit too big. One well, of them pegs seem to be in anyway still. I managed to get it pitched a bit better as well. Maybe it's not so at the back of you. But uh, lower to the ground anyway. I just wanted to tighten it up. It's a moment of truth. I haven't uh, got my mic on. I'm just trying to get on him for a walk and I don't blame him. He wouldn't uh, he wouldn't leave, wouldn't even get out of the car. He didn't even want to go to the car. So it was on the radio there, and it's rain. And I think it started around about 10 o'clock last night in the northeast. It's going to just be a full on day of heavy, heavy rain. And uh, strong winds. Right, quick look around it first. Eh? You'll have to excuse if any water comes on this lens. Did I mention it's my new Osmo Action 5? Water's still beating off, that's where I think I'm going to get water coming in. Right, let's not put this off any longer because I'm just getting wetter and wetter. So let's see inside the tent. See what's wet and what's dry. Let's go in. Well, we're in. Any water following me in there? Yeah, a little bit. Doing <coughs> that down so far. Right. Oh, there's water coming off my jacket. But yeah, I've got water where where I thought I would have there. But everything else. Wow, everything else is dry. Just sit down. Oh. Yeah, it's all dry inside. That's just off my coat that that's on there where I've rubbed up against it. Any water in this bathtub? Perfectly dry inside there. It's not on the stove, but well, that's what I said, didn't I? Because of that, but I can live with that. Obviously, if that stove was on, oh, that water wouldn't be there, I might say. Let me see if I can put you here. <laughs> I'll get on doing all right. See if I can put you on here. Oh. So what are we thinking of the uh, What are we thinking of the picture quality? How's it looking? Does it look alright? Oh. Yeah? Ah. Right, th this is literally been out in this rain. 
What time is it now? Coming up to 10 to 10 in the morning, so it's 12 hours. 12 hours of this uh, torrential rain. And it's holding up okay. Yeah, I can't see any water. Any water coming in. I can't see any water coming in off any of these seams. Uh, zips are all that's all dry it's all dry along the zips as well yeah happy with that let me pick it up yeah so happy with that so 12 hours uh, what, what do you think about how I've got this set up because just after advice again really as you can see I've got the inner set up to this side because uh, I had it sort of it was going across from that point there before across that way but I thought it was just a little bit too close to the stove uh, but there's a lot of space behind that stove still as you can see it's quite a lot of ground space look you can see this lawn is bone dry obviously it wasn't raining yesterday when I got in this tent, yeah, when I put the tent up, it started draining as I got the stove and that in. So, um, yeah, so I've had this, I put it across here. Well, then I was thinking to myself, this probably has got that much room there because the. I'll come back, I've talked to myself, I think I'd pressed, uh, I think I've pressed the button where this switches the screen off. I'll have to go in my settings and uh, check them all out, make sure I've got them set properly. But, um, yeah, so what was I saying? Then again, I was thinking, well, it is supposed to be a four-person hot tent, and if you were to use this without the inner, obviously then you're going to have so much more room for sleeping bags and stuff, and you can get people, you can get a person, two people, behind the stove there then. But... Uh, yeah, so I might light this stove and see how it's... Uh, well, I've had it lit. I had a bit of an accident because the pipes that I ordered for the stove uh, that came with it were a little bit loose when I put them to the, the original pipes that came. And I was burning it, luckily, not in the tent. I was just burning the stove again because someone commented and said, uh, do about three small burns in your stove so I've, I took that as before you put it in anyway I'm waffling on and I, so anyway yeah I was doing it at the back of the garden just on its own like I did on the video but this time with the chimney and the extra pipes attached a little bit of a breeze came and I mean tiny and they fell off they all fell down and they were red hot they'd, had, they'd been on long enough for them to get red hot now if they'd have landed on my tent God, I dread to think what it had been like. So what I've done, I've been and bought um, a Jubilee clip. So I'll put it on that bottom pipe now that attaches to the original. I've pinched that up really tight. And this pipe now has been out all night in this rain, in the heavy winds. Um, and it's not, well, it's not felt fallen over. And this is to be a true test. If it was going to have fallen over, fallen over? If it was going to have fallen, fell, fell up. Yeah, I think it was going to fall over. It, it had done it last night. Uh, so it's it's working anyway. And the other thing, with the sparker rest on this, it doesn't have anywhere to, te to attach uh, a couple of lines, you know, guy lines. So I've fashioned a bit of wire and I'm going to get some carabiners. I fed the wire through one of the holes, put a loop in the end, then I'm going to put a carabiner on that and I put one either side. Uh, but I did see a video that says don't tighten them down because them lines really aren't you're not supposed to tighten them they're just there to help stabilise the pipe and stop it from falling over completely so like I said it's all new to me but yeah I'm over the moon with this people people doubted it and said oh it'll leak it's a cheap tent it'll leak like a strainer but it isn't it's uh, <laughs> 
it's completely dry in here apart from where I thought you look at that ground totally totally dry and you'll be pleased to know I've bought a carbon monoxide uh, monitor as well so I've got that but I did see I have got it there's so much conflicting information out there on the internet but I did see a few videos saying that people do use them but it's not really necessary because the type of fuel you're using and because they're vented anyway um, so I don't know but I've got one it's better to be safe than sorry isn't it so I've got one if you don't want to use one don't, that is entirely up to you but I think I would always advocate that you do use one so you never know do you but yeah with the hot tent I've been watching videos and there's so many different uh, people say different things like saying that the you don't need to pin the tent to the ground like right low yeah to have a gap around the bottom for air flow yeah when you've got your stove on um what other people say pin it to the ground but i don't know i think it's more or less each to the own isn't it so i might get this stove lit in a bit actually and bring his back when i've got the stove on um, and we'll see what the temperature difference is going to be like can you hear the rain I'm hoping you can right I'm going to go back in the house dry off a little bit from attempting to walk Ollie in the rain uh, I do my crying in the rain teardrops falling from heaven you never wash away your memory I'm going to leave that run because that says something 0506 I don't know what that countdown is I'm hoping it's still recording I'm going to go back to the tent and uh, so the temperature outside I don't know if you're going to make that out but it's reading 14 so the temperature outside is 14 I've already popped some wood in there, it's 13 13 now it's still absolutely pouring down I'm not using the mic because I'm hoping that these mics are going to pick up the rain hopefully right, let's get in right we're back in. Oh, you know what? I have to go back to the house. I forgot the carbon monoxide thingy. Right, back in the tent. I'm going to light the fire. Blow the gale out there. I'm pretty confident in this chimney stack. It's we've stood a lot, so fingers crossed it's going to be all right. The temperature, I don't know if you'll see, but at the moment it's reading 13 point 13.5 the temperature in the tent and that's uh, 13.6 that's Celsius I think Celsius yeah 13, 13 Celsius yeah I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit but right so I'm going to get this fire built and I'll bring you I'm not saying it I'll say bring you back in a minute <laughs> but I will Right, so I've lit the fire, <coughs> a lot of steam coming off. <laughs> I've got my carbon monoxide alarm. Give it a test. There you go, so that's working. Reading zero at the minute anyway. Uh, pop that. Don't know where to pop it to be honest. I've got a little pocket over there yet. But I'm not going to do a massive. Not going to do a massive fire, just a little burn, just to see what we can get the temperature up to. Then again, obviously that steam is just the water to dry it off. Look through this little bit in here. Pop this. I'm just leaving that. Get a bit more air while that wood takes, because it's just the fire lighters at the moment. Get that wood to take, just move them. 
bit of wood around onto it. Put the top on here. Oh, it'll smoke because I think that dampener is in the closed position, so I'll open that. We'll see how it does. We'll see what the temperature goes up to. I'm trying to find somewhere to put this where my hands won't have an effect on it. See the water dripping onto the tops already, bouncing off. Uh, let me get my gloves and stuff out of this. Sorry. I'm going to get my gloves and things out of this little pocket on the sure. Right, I'll pop that in there. That's the carbon monoxide in the chair. And I'll drop the temperature thing in there as well. So that's pretty much in a mesh pocket there. Gloves can go on the side of there for now. I put them gloves, I soaked them with it, put them on the side. You should have seen them. They were dry in no time. So. Can we see anything out of there? Apart from daylight. Right, let's see how this goes. Let's have a look how this goes, eh? I can actually feel a little bit of warmth already. Whether that's psychological, I don't know, because it's not exactly blazing at the moment. Oh, whether I put my metal opener. Let's not lose that, it's important. <laughs> Have a look how it's getting on. You certainly feel the heat. As soon as we open that door, pop it back on. I don't want to, but should we go and see if it's how it's smoking outside? I know it will be smoking. Go and have a look here. Not too much coming out of there. Let me see if the stove jack's getting here. And the pipe's getting heated up. But the smoke isn't actually too bad. Oh man! Oh, I tell you what, <laughs> we feel the temperature difference straight away. Oh, you have to bear with us as I've got me. Oh, we're all over the shop here. Know what I'm doing. <laughs> wow. Whew. It's definitely warm in here now. Very warm. <laughs> yeah. I'll give it a bit and then we'll see. <coughs> see what the temperature goes up to. Quick look now. Get it out of this thing. Oh yeah, I could easily sit here with a t-shirt on. That's already it's up to 17. 17.7 7 at the moment. Wow. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll switch it off and I'll bring you back in a bit. I'm just gonna sit here with the fire for a bit. Just make sure everything's alright. Well, as you can see, I'm in my t-shirt now. It is very warm in here. We've only been in here, honestly, 10 minutes, and it is only them few sticks of kindling that I've put in. And you look at, so it's 14 outside. We're, oh, on, it's 14 outside, we're now 12 degrees. Let me just, camera's turning the wrong way. Can you read that? We're up to 26.3. Celsius inside. So I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit. There might be a button on the back of this that changes that. Uh, not sure. Maybe it's not. I thought there was a button on it, but we're up to 27 now. 27. Look, you can literally watch it climbing and climbing. Oh, I tell you what, <laughs> I'm just, I'm not even going to put that other log on. 
that I've got down here. I'm just going to let this. I'm just going to let this bit of kindling burn away. It'd be lovely just sitting here, a proper chair, <laughs> listening to the rain. Listening to the rain outside. Yeah, so this tent's going to have to stay up a bit anyway because it's going to need to get dried. So I'm not going to pack it away while, while it's uh, pouring down. I think it'll dry out, hopefully. I think it's going to be a slightly better day tomorrow or over the weekend. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look what we're up to now. So I've not had this particularly close to the fire by the way either, so I'm not popping it on the fire and then 28, 28.34. So I'm going to let this go and then we'll see, I can see this going up into the 30s in no time isn't it? Brilliant! <laughs> There you go, we've hit, we've hit 30, we've hit 30 degrees in here in, uh, literally, honestly, about 12 minutes, so it's 14 outside, it's 30 in here, and still climbing, I think, uh, and that is still, with just that bit of kindling that I put in, and the carbon monoxide thing isn't, uh, burning so that any water that's coming on there now is just hitting that pipe and because it's so hot it's just disintegrating anyway so now there's no not there's no water coming in either the carbon monoxide reader is the stove dried off uh, oh we've got reflections of something I don't know what you're getting well it'd be the screen in it is reading zero zero particles per millionth or whatever that is and it does work look press the test but we're totally safe yeah there we go so absolutely over the moon yeah i will do a night in it but it will be in the garden by the way obviously this setup isn't for backpacking if it at some point i get a lighter titanium stove because the tent is easy doable it packs down pretty small to be honest and it, i think you're know, all in it weighed about two two kilo was it or something like that so it's it is a light for the size of it it's bloody ideal yeah so um that's it oh, also one of my subscribers david uh he's going into hospital for a pretty big operation with his kidney it's the c word like i had it's, uh, so get well soon david and i hope it all goes very very well for you and you have a speedy recovery uh so if everybody could just wish him well in the comments it'd be the well to me and i'm sure he'd appreciate it so thanks guys Right, I'm going to leave that here. I'm going to sit in this hot tent. It's just the warmth. It's cheaper than eating the house. That's literally on them just a handful of kindle that I've put in. It is starting to die down now, but I can still feel the warmth from it. Oh, God, don't want to go on. Right, <laughs> it's going to be forever, this, uh, this video. So, if you don't subscribe, get yourself subscribed there. Get the button clicked over on there below, wherever it is on you under my video this one's just for sure and if you do subscribe and you've been subscribed thank you ever so much i know i always say it, but it does mean the world to me so thanks a lot guys really appreciate it so until next time uh, whatever i'm up to wherever i am whatever i'm reviewing wherever you go jazz hands wherever you go we'll always go through it together right i love you all millions and loads bye for now Mwah!